Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Uh, thank you for joining me, Debs Cooper, Global Stressologist. Today, <clears throat> that was a bit of a squeak. Today, I'm here to talk about how do you manage negativity around you. Just let me get this, make sure we've got this sorted. Thank you, thank you, thank you for joining me. So I'd love to know if you're here live on the call, if you are here doing a replay, and where you are in the world, that would be super inspiring to hear also. So, oh my gosh, how do you manage negativity around you? There's a lot of angles for this one, and it can be an incredibly sensitive topic for you and others. So I'm just going to go straight into it. Uh, so first thing is, who are they? So you're going to treat people differently on the outset, but you're still going to have the basis of what I'm going to give you. But there's going to be different things that you're going to say to different people. So for a start, children, you're going to treat children differently to adults. And you're also going to treat children differently if they're your children or other people's children. Okay, so you're going to treat people differently if they're your children or other people's children. Also, we talked about adults. We talked about, uh, when I think about adults, we talk about uh, your intimate partners. Uh, there's work colleagues. There's friends. There's family. And then there's strangers. And you're going to treat people pretty much on the outset differently. I'm just going to get that through to you because there's going to be different people you're going to say things to. So when I think of uh, how to manage negativity around you, there's two main factors. There's two important factors in this. And one is the specific matter of what they're talking about. And the other is the person. What the specific issue is, the specific matter that's happening, or the person. So if we go into the specific matter, issue, action, the first question you're going to say is, does it affect you and your world? So what they're telling you, is it important that you actually know and is it going to have an impact on your world or not? Because if it's not going to have an impact on your world, you're going to treat them very differently in how you're going to handle it. So if people are being negative about something in specific that's going to have an impact on your family, your finances, your business environment, uh, so maybe somebody says, oh, I just heard the boss uh, complain about so-and-so and now they're going to fire them, and that's your sidekick, that's definitely going to have an impact on you. If someone goes, oh, I heard so-and-so in department 3B is going to get the sack because they talked down to somebody, and that, and that Department 3B doesn't affect your world, it's not going to have an impact. So I just wanted to lay out the difference between impact and no impact. So when we think about this, uh, we go to the importance of the specific matter. Be aware that there's a thing called parenting. Now you may not be a parent, but we all parent in some form. Parenting is another form of nurturing, you could say nurturing, so when you nurture somebody, so you're going to nurture your intimate partner differently to your business partner or colleagues, to your friendships and to your family. So when you're aware of that nurturing or parenting, it's going to help you actually unpack, am I nurturing, am I over supportive, am I mothering them or fathering them or am I smothering them? because that's going to have a large important factor into how you manage the negativity that's going on around you. Now I'm also talking not just uh, around you, but I'm also talking about yourself as well. I've also got another video somewhere back then about that negativity. So, when we talk about the specific matter, and you're thinking about what's gone on or not gone on, and you're thinking about that person, you're going to treat them differently. Now, I don't know if I've said that enough, but I really would love you to get the impact in your mind that you're going to treat people differently. If it is uh, TV and news or a newspaper or social media or something like that, 
if you cannot handle it emotionally or you think you can but you're going to play it down the track over and over and over again switch it off turn it off don't read it walk away from it before it has a larger impact into your world because sometimes you can see something that's happened to somebody uh, overseas or in the same state you're in or someone you know or something and it relates to and it's going to have an impact on you and you do not feel or think that you can manage it emotionally because this depends on your sleep depends on what you've drunk it depends on your mood it depends on all the things that are going on around you your spiritual world your mental world your physical world all those things is how you're going to react to things that are different so you do not think you can handle it and you can and it starts and it starts talking instantly you'll know whether you can take it in and listen to it or not so when I'm talking about the news or newspaper or podcasts or anything switch it off and walk away if you think you can handle it then listen if it's the news or uh, TV or something in some form and you think you can handle it and you can do something about it then definitely get on board Definitely get on board and say, I would like to, you know, help out with this cause. I'd like to be part of this. Absolutely. But you must protect the bubble you're in, which is your bubble around you all the time because this is your bubble. You can allow people into your bubble or not. If it's a, a specific matter that you do not think you can handle, if it's a specific matter, there's going to be different ways to handle it, which I'm going to talk about here. So you can make one-off comments to people. You can say things to people that are going to leave an impact. Now, it can leave a negative impact on them, or it can leave a positive impact. So back in the day when I grew up, and people being negative, we would say things like, oh, life isn't that bad, you know, put your chin up, my favorite that I grew up with was build a bridge, get over it. These are little things that uh, we've said, we have said to people and then we've heard ourselves, others have said to us. There's also another one, it's not worth it. Don't get into it, it's not worth it. And they are great little sayings that can be a one-off back to people, but they can trigger the other person depending on their issue. We don't want to antagonize them. We definitely do not want to antagonize them. People's desire is to be seen and heard. Everyone wants to be seen and heard in some form. Just give me a moment. I'm just going to quickly open this door. It's very hot in my office. So everyone would like to be seen and heard. People repeat stories when they haven't resolved the issue and they haven't been seen and heard. And you'll know that. So you, as I say that, you'll go back to a memory where, you, oh, they did keep saying that same stuff over and over and over again. And it's because they haven't been seen and heard, acknowledged and resolved it. So when that story repeats and you've heard the same thing from that same person, really hone in on them so you can help them in some form. So... Be grateful they have shared it with you. Be grateful they have shared their insights and that it's allowed them to trust you enough to share it with you. Because they're obviously really comfortable to share it with you. So do not dismiss it. Do not break that bond no matter what's going on that they're sharing it with you. When you speak to them, you must not put your old stories in and your ego in and your issue in. You must speak from here. Speak from the heart. Speak to them from the heart. Remember, they want to be seen and heard, just like you do. Go back to that. Seen and heard. Speak from the heart. Because people hear you when you speak from the heart. It's a different energy that you're giving out and they listen. You can ask them if they'd like you to help them or hold space for them and when I say hold space there's two different levels there's quietly hold space that's holding space quietly and then there's verbally I hear you oh yes absolutely verbally is also another way of talking it out with somebody 
Now, I'm not saying you need to be a just let them rant and rant and rant and you just sit there going, hmm. and at the moment, same time you're thinking of the, the washing that you've got to do or the whatever or the amount of paperwork that's building up at work, none of that stuff. So allow them to uh, be seen and heard and also be aware of your energy. I'm just reconfirming that. And where you're going to hold energy and space for them. I personally can't listen to someone who's being negative over and over and over again. They often get one chance with me. And even in a consult, if someone's going to go, but this person kept doing this and this, I'm going to have to stop them. Because that is not a way to reprogram their brain to think differently. And if you allow them to think negatively and talk negatively, that is going to start having an impact on you. So while they're doing that and they're talking, you can start thinking of the value that is happening to them around it. Also known as the benefit to them. So if you do not want to hear it, if you do not want to hear it, you're not interested in hearing, you don't want to hear it, and especially if it's going to affect your family or your world, it's okay to tell them that you can't listen to it. I can't listen to your negativity. I can't, I can't hear what you're saying right now. I've got too much on my plate. It's okay to say that to them because you're going to pass them to someone else. You're going to pass them to someone else because this is your world. This is your protective bubble. This is your energy to manage your own, not someone else's. And even though you may be exhausted and someone comes in and you're like, I just need to help them, you cannot help them when you're an exhaustion level. Do not get yourself to exhaustion level because we know what happens when you get to exhaustion level. The whole world turns chaotic, everything happens, uh, illnesses occur, and you become one grumpy a-hole out there. Is that loud enough and clear enough for you? We don't want that around you. No one wants to be around you when you're like that. You also don't want to be around yourself when you're like that. So, ask them if they would like to talk to a professional, okay? Especially if it's going to affect their relationship with you. Especially if it's going to affect the relationship. Ask them if they want to talk to a professional. And there's actually a special offer coming at the end of this that I will offer, but you just have to hold on a little bit longer about that. Because there's nothing more deflating to you than listening to their energy and they're not prepared to listen or shift and nothing more deflating to them. So this is speaking from the heart, speaking from the heart, speaking from the heart. If they tell you anything and you're like, oh, I must tell my husband that, oh, I must tell my boss that, or I must tell Susie that, none of that, none of that. Do not pass on their words, energy, negativity, whatever you want to talk it. Do not pass that on to anyone else. The worst thing you can do when as a friend separates from their partner is uh, go, well, I never liked him. Or I never liked her. That's the worst thing you can do. And do you know why? Because if they get back together, what's going to happen? They've possibly already told that person about you. So we don't want that stuff happening. Okay? So the last thing you want to be doing is passing on that information. Nah, uh, 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 uh. So also know that what works this time with them when you're giving them some advice or listening or whatever may not work next time. And this also depends on the way you deal with things. You know, your spiritual, your mental, what you've eaten, how you slept, etc. This also depends on how you can handle it and whatever's going on in your world. So know that what works today may not work tomorrow. What works tomorrow may not work next week. Okay? So just be aware of those things because they're really large key factors in here. Now... There's always a flip side to every negative. There is always, always a flip side to every negative. You just have to open your eyes and look. You just have to open your eyes and look. So, if, uh, say for example, you've, so, so think of a moment where someone's negative. What is the upside to that negativity? What's the positivity to that negativity? What's the gratitude around it? What's the benefit to them? What's the benefit to you? What's that leveling up? So look at the flip side to that negativity. What's the positives that have come out of it? 
because that helps settle you that you can also share with them. So say, for example, if someone's moaning about work colleagues, so say someone's moaning about work colleagues, and someone's telling you about this, and you're like, I don't want to hear this, I don't have the energy, da, da, da. Ask them to go see their supervisor. You don't have to engage with them. Get them to go and talk to their supervisor about it. You don't have to engage in them. Obviously, depending on children, if this is your child or not, and the people around. But the upside is making them accountable to their stuff. Everyone has to be accountable because the only way you're going to move forward in life is be accountable. The only way you're going to move forward in life is be accountable. Step one is being accountable. If the price of petrol has moved up, and I heard someone talking about the price of petrol the other day, and they were going, oh, the price of petrol has moved up. It's like, yes, prices have risen. Absolutely. We're fully aware of that in the last year. So if you don't rise your self-worth, and others do, resentment will come into play. So this is actually saying, I don't have enough money, so what am I doing? For so it's all around your self-worth. If you hear yourself moaning about expenses or prices of things, this is around your self-worth, what you do with your money and how you manage your money. Raise your worth, basically, is what I'm saying. We've had the pandemic. We're still in the pandemic. So people say to me, you're so lucky to be in New Zealand. Oh, you're so lucky you've got the Prime Minister. You're so lucky. You know what? We do have some amazing stuff going on in New Zealand, but then we also have the flip side. We don't have some amazing stuff going on in New Zealand. So some people think it's amazing to be in New Zealand. Some people don't. So there's always a flip side to everything. So my judgment of living in New Zealand could be different to yours, could be different to yours, could be different to yours. So we all have a flip side to everything going on. And, well, that's it. That's actually it. That's it. That's me. That's me done. But I will say, so that's how you manage negativity of people around you. Negativity around you. If you have any questions, let me know. If you've got any comments, let me know. That would be fabulous. But I will also say, in closing, it is my birthday tomorrow. Tomorrow is my birthday. And because it's my birthday and I'm turning an amazing year older, We'll leave it at that. If you say happy birthday to me, if you say happy birthday, you don't have to sing it, you don't have to put a video up, if you say happy birthday to me in these comments, I will personally send you a link for a one-hour consult for me, with me, that has 70% off my one-hour rate. Only if you say happy birthday here. I'm not going to put it publicly. <laughs> there we go. I'll send you a link if you'd like to book a one-hour consult. It has 70% off. If you have any questions, let me know. And that is me over and out on negativity. I'm now going to carry on with my day. And I have an incredibly inspiring client I'm talking to in eight minutes. So thank you very much, people. Have an amazing day. Have an amazing week. And I look forward to private messaging you. Thank you. That's me over and out. Deb's Cooper.